Sila, Sila, thank you so much. Now, the Opposition Super Alliance NASA presidential candidate Raila Odinga now has until Friday to file his election petition at the Supreme Court, with the final ruling likely to be made by 31st of this month if all goes according to the schedule. Given the Chief Justice David Maraga's position that he would never work on a Supreme Court triggered a massive collective sigh of relief in Kenya. Despite Raila saying other options still remain open since, according to him, he will never accept what he calls computer-generated leaders. After keeping the country, their supporters, the media, and even the international community waiting for nearly three days, NASA leader Raila Molo Dinga has finally dropped his big political announcement. We had said, and we will, uh, that we had said, we have now decided to move to the Supreme Court uh, and lay before the world the making of a computer-generated leadership. Odinga, who was flanked by his running mate Kalonzo Musioka and his chief agents Msalia Mdavadi and James Orengo, maintained his ground that he doesn't recognize Uhuru Kenyatta as president-elect. This is why the government is violently demobilizing civil society organizations for daring authoritarianism and seeking justice. In a seemingly tensed news conference where the media was warned up front that there will be no into a banana republic and a playground. <laughs> Accepting such a crime for the third election in a row would redeemably entrench the triumph of anti-democratic impunity and the permanent death of democracy. Future elections will be a sham. NASA shall not be party to it. And once beaten twice shy, the opposition chief, who has previously been disappointed by the very Supreme Court, sought to make his... In 2013, it can compound the problems uh, we face as a country. Odinga also condemned the government over what he termed as sanctioning state terror against opposition supporters in targeted areas in the country. Merchants of state violence expected NASA to walk Kenyans into death traps. They dispatched merchants of death to carefully selected parts of the country. The people are held now under hostage siege. The intent is murder. We also have the no less bizarre situation where some observers grossly violated their mandate and started calling upon NASA to concede even before the IBC officially announced the election's outcome. Shame on them. But even as he files the petition at the Supreme Court, Odinga's stand is explicit. This is just the beginning. We will not accept and move. We will uphold our rights to assemble and protest. We shall hold vigils, moments of silence, beat drums, and do everything else to peacefully draw attention to the gross electoral injustices being meted on our country and demand redress. And he dropped his parting shot. Computer, the Elewataga. Computer, the Angolia. Declaration implying that NASA has until Friday to do so. And on that note, the planned swearing in of President Uhuru Kenyatta for a second term on 29th of August comes to a halt after NASA rescinds their earlier decision and instead opts to move to the Supreme Court. This will be the second time that Raila Odinga and Kalonzo Msioka will be doing the same to challenge the election of Uhuru Kenyatta and William Ruto. Duncan